Well, this Saturday marks two years since the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, ordered his troops to invade Ukraine. In that time, the Russian military has faced huge losses. The latest BBC estimates suggest over 110,000 have died. While Ukraine has borne the brunt of the war, Russian towns have also been shelled and hundreds of thousands of men drafted into the army. Well, this was the picture back in February 2022 when Russia held Crimea, which it had annexed in 2014. And Russian-backed separatists held a small section in the southeast of, the, of Ukraine. Well, now most of the south and east of the country are occupied by Russian forces. Our Russia editor, Steve Rosenberg, has been looking at the war and how it's changed the country and the people. They are two years that have changed Russia and set the country on a darker path. Two years of war and heavy casualties, mobilization and mutiny, and repression. Alexei Navalny, dead in prison. But the president is looking confident. Vladimir Putin senses the tide may be turning in his favor. But what is his goal? He wants this world uh, to live on his own terms. Uh, I don't think that he wants to uh, some kind of a takeover of Poland or Baltic states or Western Europe. He needs Ukraine, but uh, this is not enough for him. Well, what is enough for him? Uh, the, this world must accept his rules, must accept uh, his vision of the world. How things have changed. There was a time when Russia and the West we're talking about cooperation, partnership. The Putin I met with, did good business with, established the NATO Russia Council with, is very, very different from uh, this almost megalomaniac at the present moment. Uh, so the man who stood beside me uh, in May of 2002, right beside me, and said Ukraine is a sovereign, independent nation state which will make its own decisions about security is now the man who says that it is not a nation state and that it's got to be wiped off the face of the earth. Vladimir Putin once said to me at a press conference that Russia was squeaky clean. Nothing's changed. The Kremlin continues to claim that none of what's happening today is Russia's fault, that it was the West that started this war. But two years ago, it wasn't the West that invaded Ukraine. That was Russia. And how does the Russian public see things? This is the town of Solnitsnogorsk, sunny hills near Moscow. The last two years of Russia's history, it's all here in the park. The invasion of Ukraine, these Russian soldiers were killed there. They're portrayed as heroes. Graffiti for the Wagner paramilitary group and flowers, just a few, in memory of Alexei Navalny. For the residents of Sunny Hills, in two years, life has changed. Our factories are making things now that we used to buy abroad, and that's good, Lydia says. But I'm sad for the young men, for everyone who've been killed. Marina praises Russian soldiers in Ukraine and then admits she lives in fear her own son may be called up to fight. We need peace, she says, so that we don't have to fear what tomorrow will bring. And these two years have changed the war memorial on the town square. There's a whole new section. Dozens of names of local men killed in what the Kremlin still calls a special operation, not a war. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.